We're here at Heron Island to conduct some work on the coral spawning event. We're investigating the processes that limit coral recovery. To do that, we're conducting experiments on the land and in the water. We're here with a team of people of about 10, and that includes staff from CSIRO, staff and students from the University of Queensland, as well as two land and seed rangers from the Gadagil Corporation. These experiments that we're doing between One Tree Island and Heron Island will be very helpful in providing targeted information on how densely do you need to pack a reef with corals if you want to restore it so that that restored population can actually act in a biologically realistic way so that they can actually reproduce and help deliver new corals to other reefs and, and, and even sustain their own population by releasing corals that might actually come back to that same reef. These are important questions we have to answer. One of the biggest challenges of working with corals is obviously that they usually only spawn once a year. So a lot of our work is tied to this crucial period of time and you have one, maybe two nights where you're able to catch them in the act of spawning and use those gametes for your experiment. So we have to be ready to go and prepared for when it happens because we can't predict it as much as we try. Corals are they're a very charismatic ecosystem in a way, but there's still so much that we don't know. And there's especially about reproduction and the early life stage. A lot of this group is going to give us a lot of information about that, which we can hopefully use to tie to how we can conserve these ecosystems, but then also eventually restore certain areas that we need to. And I think that's super exciting to know more about. It's important to me the knowledge that I've learned here so I can take it back to Gadajul and assist them with their coral monitoring for the health of the reef so we can continue with our traditional methods and knowledge and share it with everyone else.